לילילילילי, after 20 minutes, look at this sexy, gorgeous רוגלך. Unbelievable, I couldn't be more proud than this. Yo 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 guys, what is up? I'm Ben Jinji. And I'm Ziki. And today we're gonna make rogalach two ways. I'm gonna make it the traditional way with melted butter, brown sugar and cocoa powder. And Ziki gonna get crazy freaky <laughs> funky with... I have been craving carrot cake all week, so we decided to make a carrot cake rogalach. It's gonna be a spice dough loaded with pumpkin spice seasoning, and then the insides are going to be shredded carrots, whiskey-soaked raisins, brown sugar, butter, a bunch of funky stuff to get it uh, moving. It's gonna be delicious. Are you ready? Rogalach two ways. So today we are making rogalach. For that we will need 500 grams of flour, 150 milliliters of milk, 12 grams of dry yeast, 90 grams of sugar, 10 grams of salt, 100 grams of butter, soft butter, when I mean soft is like soft, and two eggs. Okay, Ziki, so first we will start by pouring the flour in the bowl. Then we add the yeast and the sugar. Wow, so it all comes in together. Yeah. We don't activate the yeast first. No. Is there a reason for it? Um, now commercial yeast are uh, already activated, you don't need to check, check them. And these ones are fresh, so it's all good. Give it a good whisk. Okay, and then we will pour in the milk. Mm -hmm. All in. We will crack two eggs. Use the other bowl that you have to, for the shells. I'm already ahead of you. I'm, I'm cleaning lady over here. Understand? So we leave aside just the, the salt and the butter. Right. What we're gonna do now, we, we start to work the dough. Once it's come quite cohesive, we will add the butter. And then it will all come together, we will add the salt. And we'll move it to the working surface to start working. Okay? Okay. Oh. So, starting by mixing all the ingredients in the center, like we would do kind of with pasta. And each time we're collecting a little bit of flour from the side. Um, I forgot to say, Ziki, but that's your time to add your spices. Oh, okay. Okay, so you will notice that you will have a cohesive dough, but still flour remain that, you, right. that are not integrated in the dough. That's the time to add the butter. Oh, wow. Okay. All in. It's look a lot, and it is. But that's what gives us the amazing flavor that we are looking for. So can I ask you, why is it that we add the butter at this stage? Because we want to start developing the gluten before we add the butter in. And the in general, any oil, butter or uh, oil or whatever else, mm -hmm. just uh, will bother the gluten formation. Anyway, we won't start. Uh, we won't try to develop the gluten to be completely um, developed as we will do with bread. We will just um, want the dough to feel good and start to stretch a little bit. I will show you in a few minutes. That's the time that we're gonna add salt. When you see that the dough is absorb all the uh, butter in the bowl and the bowl is quite clean. Ziki is not there yet, so I will start by adding the salt and Ziki will join us to the game very soon. Add the salt. I heard you. The, the salt. And work it. Fantastic. Now we can already start to uh, knead it on the table. And start working. Not a lot of energy, like the dough will come together, you know? And as we showed in other episodes, try to keep one side 
surface smooth and the other one is always pushing the other side of the dough into the center, okay? One hand is rotating and the other one is kneading. Tak, 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 tak. Tak, 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 tak. Okay. Yours is ready. Okay. Amazing chili. So we have this sexy white traditional dough. As you see, smooth surface, sexy as fuck. And, and then you see my super sexy, completely kneaded by me dough here. Absolutely no imperfections, just my kneading technique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, okay. <laughs> So we will put uh, some oil in the bowl, just that it will be easier for us to release the dough afterwards. So, just a little bit of oil, oil it. One side, first of all. I like that little, one. I like this tip that you taught us to, to do it in the bottom and then flip it. That way it gets nicely distributed. Yes. Covered with a towel. And that's it. Like a ghost. Okay, so for the traditional filling, we will have three ingredients only, starting with melted butter, cocoa powder, and brown sugar. All of this, we will pour into this bowl. Starting with the butter, cocoa. It might be a little small for it, but we'll make it work. And sugar. So what we want is the melted butter not to be uh, too warm because then it will melt the sugar. And actually the traditional flavor is to feel the granular sugar in the filling. So that's what we are trying to create. So it will come all together. And traditionally this um, pastry is uh, actually vegan because it serves on Shabbat, so it's kosher. And instead of butter, we will use margarine. But margarine is not fun, so we will use butter. And this is the paste. Okay, so that's the texture of the filling. As you see, we can spread it, but still is completely firm. And I will bring it close to the camera. You see the granulated sugar? That's what we want to keep in this filling. And that's it, we'll set it aside and we'll bring it back once the dough is ready. So today Ben made some very traditional rogelach with a chocolate filling, which I love. But I was thinking, let's go a little bit more innovative. Let's do something a little bit freaky outside of the box. And I was thinking to myself, let's do carrot cake rogelach. So we're gonna start with all the traditional fixins of a carrot cake. We've got shredded carrots. These guys are just on a grater, peeled and grated. We've got whiskey soaked raisins, which are just raisins that sat in whiskey for one hour and then were drained. We've got brown sugar, which is gonna be our bind here when we mix it with the butter and the carrots and the raisins. We have our chopped candied walnuts. These guys, you guys can buy at a store, walnuts sitting in sugar brine, or you can make them yourselves by using raw walnuts sitting overnight in sugar and water. Last but not least, we have a stick of butter. Very important, that's gonna work with the sugar to create a very nice emulsion there. And of course, we need salt. With a bowl, we're gonna take our carrots, these guys, we need to drain out the juices. Carrot's gonna be the base here. I'm gonna throw in this soft butter. A little bit of sugar here. Raisins, we're not gonna use all of them. Maybe, if we feel like it, we'll see. And all the walnuts, that's gonna give that lovely crunch factor. So already, mmm, smells like your grandmother's home making carrot cake for you for your birthday. I was the weirdo who wanted carrot cake for my birthday. All right, so this is perfect. Now we have a lot of sweetness going on here, so I wanna bring in a little bit of salt. 
because it always balances it and that's kind of the great thing about carrot cake is, is there that there is that savory aspect. So just a pinch, maybe a smidge. Himalayan pink sea salt is very salty. Okay. It's gonna be amazing, guys. All right, we're gonna set that aside. Okay, guys, so after we let our dough proofing, look how beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Yours right. even proof much better. I will take it out of the bowl. Deflate yeah. it a little bit. Wow. Yes, soft, so soft. and sexy. Okay. We'll cut it in half just because it's easier to work with a half, half dough. We will cover it with a towel and put it aside. And sprinkling flour on the table. Like a baker. Like a baker, like this, not like this, like a cook. And then flour it from both sides. And why are we keeping it in our ink triangles? So we can cut out triangles? Yeah, and we are not wasting the dough when we are mm. there spreading the stuff and starting to shape. Straightening one side, even here, a bit more, and here, and here. Such precision. As much as we can. Putting our sexy filling. and spreading it I will actually use my hands so now when it's all spread first we are Measuring about two, three inches, you would say this? Is it so? Two inches. Two inches. Wow. You're a deeply impressive human being. So we are starting always with the white with the white part and we are marking, we are doing a little cut in the bottom. The reason for that is when we spread, we'll spread it, we'll roll it open, okay? Oh, really? Oh, so you it see? doesn't tear? Like this. Wow. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And here we got the first rogel. So after shaping this beautiful rogalach, I'm bringing a tray with a baking sheet on it and I'm starting to arrange them on the tray. And now after we arrange all of them, we will cover them with a towel and let them proof for about 45 minutes to an hour. Yo, shalom, shalom, what is up? this guy so he doesn't get dry and amazing so we are going to open this like Ben showed us so like he said we want a rectangular I mean guys this is look at this dough I mean look at it I wish you could be here it's incredible okay it's really fatty dough it's like the cinnamon was activated by the, by the butter. Yeah, exactly. It's beautiful how spices are activated by fat. And because we have such an ample amount and it got to sit and it proofed, I mean, 
you're not gonna get a more delicate and lovely. So as we do before, we're gonna cut off these edges here. And then once you know all the rules, then you can break them. That is, thank you. I appreciate that, I think it looks nice too. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with a little bit of butter because I wanna start a little bit of a different, I wanna do a base. So I'm gonna start here by putting this butter in here. Beautiful. But this is just making sure that we have the absolute most moist, that's a bad word, fluffiest? I don't know. Now we've got our mixture, remember this guys? Okay. Bringing it in here. And so a really important thing here is we wanna make sure that the ends have also been touched by the mixture. Because it's like, oh, I can keep everything in the middle, but no. And we want to make sure we're going over here because then this guy is going to have less than the middle. And we just want to make sure we're going right over here nice and smooth. All right, so Ben said two inches. Okay, we are almost there. Open this bad boy up. Wings and out. And ready. Mine are much bigger than Ben's, I'm not sure why. <laughs> this guy's really fat. <laughs> Little guy can go over here. We're done. Amazing. So after we let these cuties rogalach to rest for 45 minutes to an hour, look at them, sexy, puffy, starting to get closer to each other. And that's the perfect time to start baking them. So first we will brush them with egg. As we always say, gently, so we are not creating an omelet on each of them. Okay, beautiful rogalach. Now we will bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes. What's up guys? We are back. Ben just gave you guys and showed you his awesome rogalach. Mine are looking like my personality. A little bit, all very different. I made an omelet here. I'm just kidding. Um, Lily after 20 minutes, look at this sexy, gorgeous rogalach. Unbelievable. Um, I couldn't be more proud than this. Now we will brush them with simple syrup that literally are equal quantity of sugar and water. You just boil it until the water dissolves. And then once it's come out of the oven, immediately you brush these beauties with a simple syrup. There is never too much, so feel free to brush them beautiful. Also, you will see that here, all the leftovers that we'll have on the side will absorb all the syrup. And that's it. Now we will wait for Tsiki to bring her rogalach out of the oven and then we'll taste all of them together. We are now brushing our Carrot cake rogalach with lots of simple syrup. Delicious! 
Looking so cute, these girls. And we're ready. So it's been a long day. <laughs> we took the day very slow and that's why we end up by the late afternoon, early evening. But it's okay, the, the best time to taste your rogalach next to the afternoon coffee. The afternoon coffee. The afternoon coffee, thank you, Tziki. So <laughs> we will start by tasting my um, rogalach that are with the traditional filling, melted butter, cocoa, and brown sugar. Which one you want to taste first, Tziki? Ooh, I think, oh, I don't know, you choose, honey. I will choose... I will choose this. Aww, this is the, this is the model. Look at this amazing creature. Let me now take a bite. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that sexy crumb. Silky, open your mouth. <laughs> Silky, open your mouth. Ziggy, you want to taste it? Yes, I would like to taste it. Thank you very much. Is it a small bite you take? Yeah, I want to. I got three of them to taste. Oh my god. Wow. It's like mocha. It's a mocha. Mm. Oh my god. What's the flavor? Super, mm. super sexy. I don't know how you want to finish it. And These are the carrot cake rogala. Can't wait to taste them. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so carroty. Mm, you can even finish them with a little maldon sea salt. I feel like that would be amazing. You go, girl. Sit down, mic drop. That shit is delicious. I don't believe you. Can you give me some space in the frame? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm leaving the house by the end of the video. <laughs> the this she, this he, he. I'm sorry. I know you wanna. Delicious. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Oh my god. It's so crazy because it tastes like there's cream cheese frosting in there, but there's not. Absolutely delicious. Not as the original, but um, delicious. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say that the chocolate rogalach are the most beautiful. They're delicious. truly classic. traditional, classic. I mean, this is like, wow. This is like what you wish you were getting in like an awesome bakery. And then this guy, is like, wow, an explosion. Super soft and delicate. It almost feels like whole wheat because it's it's a different color from the cinnamon. It's not whole wheat. There's nothing healthy about this. Um, but it's, it's in okay. This guy, this is my favorite. I have to say, I'm sorry, honey. I'm not voting against you. I'm just voting for myself. <laughs> okay, that's very politically correct saying. I voted for myself. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Ben and Ziki Baking the World. Baking two ways, thank you for coming. Mwah! We love you guys. That's the time to press the subscribe button underneath. If you don't subscribe, it's totally fine. I will come after you. See you next week. It's ne a